So I honestly get asked a lot about screen printing. I've been doing screen printing on a hobby level for about six to seven years. So I thought, why not do a video on it? Show how, if you're interested in screen printing, what you need to buy and the steps that you should take to put out some pretty quality shirts. I'm not putting out anything that's just spectacular, but I am not ashamed of the stuff I put out either. I think I do pretty good shirts. It's fun, I enjoy it. I do it on a pretty basic level. Uh, I didn't go out and just buy junk. I bought kind of mid, mid-range stuff. So I just wanna do a video showing the steps I take to creating t-shirts. Now, this is in no means a professional level, but that's what I'm trying to pertain to is the people out there that's looking to get into it to not blow three or $4,000 on a professional grade press. How to do it as a hobby level, but also make a little bit of money too and produce a really quality product. And I'm breaking into two different videos. First video is all the equipment that I have that I use to create this stuff. And the second video will be a step-by-step -step process of how to use this equipment to, to create some pretty good shirts. I printed this shirt. Hang out with me. Learn something. All right, so in this first video, I'm gonna go over the equipment that I use. I am no way saying that this is what you have to buy. I mean, there's several different brands out there. You can get whatever you want. Uh, definitely don't just use this video as a guide. This is just what I personally use, what I found to work for me. That being said, let's show you what I use. All right, so the biggest piece of equipment that you're gonna need with screen printing is a press. I bought this one as a kid, I believe off eBay, and I do not remember for the life of me how much it is. I'll try to find one that's similar and uh, link it down below. Uh, this is actually, it's called the Shocker. I remember that because of obvious reasons. Uh, this is a four color, one station press. Basically what that means is you can have four screens on here and you have one place to do t-shirts. Uh, if it was a two station press, it would have another spot for platen on the other side. Uh, you can get uh, two color, four color, one color, it all depends on what you're wanting to do. I very rarely do any more than one color, but I like the four color because it gives me a place to put screens if I'm doing several different t-shirts. But if you want to do a, sh a shirt that has more than one color, like this shirt I'm wearing right now, it'll show up. So it has white, blue, and red and black so this is a four color shirt you could do you could print this shirt right here on this press but every different color you're going to need another screen so you'd have all the blue in this shirt would be one screen all the black one screen all the white and then all the red and then of course you would do one color then your next color then all the way around till you got all the colors on your shirt so you can definitely do this shirt on this press if you wanted to. That's the whole reason behind a four color press. I built a stand that it's on out of stuff I had laying around pretty much. Uh, you can use a table, whatever. They're not super, super heavy, so um, you could just get a card table if you had to, and it worked fine. Okay, so ink is wet and you have to dry it, so you have to have some form of heat. Um, I use two different things to dry the ink on my shirt. First is a heat gun. It actually came with this kit, with this press. Uh, initially, I did not use it. I had a flash dryer. My flash dryer crapped out on me. I would highly recommend getting a flash dryer if you're doing shirts like this, where it has multiple colors. But if you're just doing one color shirts, a heat gun will get you by. Um, basically, what you do with a heat gun is, once you put ink on your shirt, you wanna hit it with a heat gun, to basically just get it dry enough to where the ink won't come off. It's not a full cure. So that's what I use the heat gun for, is to get it to where it's cured at least on the top side. That way when you pull your shirt off, if your image happens to flop over on itself, it's not gonna get ink all over your shirt. So that's how to kind of flash cure it. Now to totally cure it, I use a heat press. Um, this is actually a pretty good one. Uh, don't get the cheapest one because they will burn out on you. Um, this one, you can change 
your settings you can change your temperature and you can also change the amount of time it gives you a like you can set the timer to 30 seconds and 30 seconds is up it starts beeping um, so most plastisol ink will tell you you know how long and at what temperature to cure their ink so you don't have to check with them but basically I put my shirt in there put this piece of Teflon on top of it to keep the ink from getting to the, the heating element close it and then wait for it to start beeping lift it up and that will cure your shirts and they're ready they can be washed and the image will stay on it if you get a screen printing kit it's probably going to come with a lot of the stuff that you need like uh, it'll probably come with some squeegees of different sizes it'll come with some spatulas to get your ink out uh, some inks and then it'll probably come with some chemicals too like uh, you're going to need some emulsion remover you're going to need an uh, ink remover, and then it'll probably come with like a screen degreaser or something like that. Uh, you're also going to need some tape to tape your images. You can see the tape. And obviously you're going to need some emulsion to coat your screens. I think this kit also come with the scoop coater for my emulsion. So, like I said, I would highly recommend if you can find a kit or find somebody on Craigslist that's selling everything in a package. It'll save a few dollars. But if not, I wouldn't buy just a screen press. Get yourself a kit that comes with a lot of stuff. It'll probably come with some crap you'll probably never use, but it'll come with a, uh, with a lot of stuff and probably save you a few dollars versus buying it all separate. This is my exposure unit. Uh, I think this light came with my screen printing kit. I can't really remember. And I built the stand that it's on. I mean, it's not much at all to it. It's just some PVC pipe. like Maybe less than $10 worth. So you wouldn't want to pick up some kind of exposure unit you can do the vacuum ones but those are really expensive and kind of a higher end if you're doing a whole lot of screen printing but as far, far as a hobbyist at a small level get you something like this you're also going to need a printer you do not have to get an expensive printer any printer will work now if you're wanting to do very large images you're going to want to invest in a wide format printer and that's what I have here this is a HP OfficeJet 7110 or 7110. This is actually an older model printer and it, it works pretty good. It prints up to 13 by 19 and that's basically just for t-shirts. You won't need anything bigger than that. But this is a pretty good printer. Like I said, if you want to use your regular old printer that just prints on regular paper, that will work too. You're also going to need some film. Um, you can't just use regular film. It has to be water resistant or waterproof film. Uh, you can find this online, uh, Screen Print Direct, or just do a Google search. Uh, these are just several different images that I've collected over the years. You can reuse these as many times as you need to. Uh, it has to be waterproof film, like I said. That way the image, the ink stays on there and doesn't smear off. Uh, I think you can get a pack of this, like a pack of 25, 13 by 19 for around 25 bucks. Okay, to create your images, you're going to need some software. You can go out and spend a bunch of money on Photoshop. And if you're doing a whole bunch of t-shirts and a bunch of different colors, then that is probably a great option. But if you're wanting to do it on a smaller level and save some money, get Inkscape. This is a free program you can download offline and it is the only thing I use and it gets me by. There's tons and tons of tutorials online of how to do stuff on this program, but uh, I highly recommend if you're just starting out in screen printing, instead of going out and spending four to five hundred dollars on Photoshop, give Inkscape a try first. Well, all right, that's it. That's basically the essentials that you're going to need to do some screen printing at home to produce some quality shirts. I hope this helped, and be sure to check out my next video to show you guys how I print my shirts.